Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home and this is episode two in my Let's Stay Home series. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you four DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts as well as some baking and some words of encouragement through either scripture or prayer or also I'm gonna be sharing with you all some relaxing music in this video with some beautiful pictures of either my garden or just some of the decor I have around my home. I want these this series with my Let's Stay Home series and my videos to be a place where you all can come and get a cup of sunshine, get a smiling face and some encouragement to look forward to the future with hope and take a small break from everything that might be going on in your life that might be worrying you or stressing you out um, and also know that I'm staying at home so I'm here with you guys and I thank you all for clicking on this video it gave me a reason to curl my hair and put on some makeup and a cute little outfit um, to just come say hello to you all and I want to give you all our hearts a big hug I'm hugging your hearts and I'm praying for you and I also want to offer um, for you all to drop your prayer requests in the comment section of this video to give everybody an opportunity in this community to pray for one another and sometimes it just feels good to know that somebody out there might see your prayers or is listening. I think we can all get through this together and encourage one another. Um, so I just want you to know I'm here for you. I'm praying for you guys. I also wanted to let you all know I have Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. If you need to connect and kind of socialize online, um, it's a totally free group to join. You can request to join and also post pictures of your home decor and your DIY projects over there. It's just a place to take a break again from some of the news. And I also want to encourage you to stay informed, but also try to have faith over fear. So I'm here for you. I love you. Now I know you guys are here for some crafts and some baking and some positivity. So let's go ahead and plug in your glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. So for the first Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you how I made a cross decor piece using a Dollar Tree garden gate. So I'm going to start out by cutting this center section of the garden gate out. The part with a little pointy end at the base there is going to be the center point of my cross. Now this is how I'm making my cross, but please feel free to create your own designs. I would love to see how you all make a cross using the items you have on hand. So if you can't find the garden cross from Dollar Tree, create a cross using whatever scrap pieces that you have in your home. Get creative. You could use popsicle sticks. You could use jewelry. You could use so many different things to make this project with. This would also be fun to do with kiddos um, by doing a popsicle cross. So now you can see I cut out another section of the garden fence. This is the rounded section. I'm cutting out this section to create an arm for my cross. So I have my center point cut out and now I'm cutting out the arm section. Also be careful when you're cutting into this plastic. It's not super hard to cut but it is a little bit tricky and the pieces kind of fly everywhere. So if you have small kiddos around just be conscious of that um, when you're making this craft. So here is my first section of the cross it's going to be the arm part you can see it's that little pointy piece and then the little two scrolly pieces and then I'm going to go ahead and take the other side of the garden um, little stake here and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so I'm cutting out that little scrolly and center point piece again to create the other side of my arm Thank you. 
So now I'm just going to cut out another section of my cross. I'm going for that center piece because I want to create some height in the center of my cross. So I'm cutting out another one of those uh, center pieces with a little scrolly designed on either side. And I will tell you that I actually have created this cross several different ways just by kind of playing around with the pieces. I got the idea on Sunday actually after I pastor spoke on hope. I just knew it was what I needed to bring to you guys and I've had kind of a DIY like this floating around in my head so I'm excited to bring it to you all but again there's different ways that you can kind of take these sections and create a cross. You could also even do a couple of smaller ones um, but I was going for a larger one. I want to use this in my living room on my mantle or just somewhere where I can have this beautiful reminder um, of my faith and so you can see that I put that section down at the bottom but I did also just kind of play around with different ways that I could do this one so just be, keep kind of trimming those garden pieces and find how you really want it all to go together So I did even end up trimming off some of the little pointy parts and those are going to be the top part of my cross. So for the next part of this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to use two of the love signs. These were from Valentine's Day and I actually have already done a DIY with this project. So I'm repurposing and reusing for this Let's Stay Home project. Again, I did already chalk paint this, but I wanted to share this portion of the DIY with you because I'm reusing these signs um, and so I did go ahead and chalk paint both of these signs they ended up taking several coats of the Kilns Chan uh, Kilns brand chalk paint I think the Waverly works much better but again use what you have on hand so now that I have them both finished up I'm just going to take some popsicle sticks and attach them I ended up using about five or six you can hot glue them to the back of both your signs to create one sign so now that I have my sign all done I did want to patch the top part with a little bit of this patch and paint this is spackling you can get it at Dollar Tree you might already have it on hand but this is optional you could also cover up those holes with a little jewel or I don't worry about them many times so I just wanted to show you guys another piece to this project I did have some Waverly antique wax on hand you could also use any kind of craft paint to just kind of give your project a little bit of a distressed look you can probably see kind of underneath this where I had already distressed it again I'm reusing this um, project in this board so I'm just going in with a bit of that wax and I'm kind of gently rubbing it around the tops and the center points to give it kind of an aged appearance um, just to make it kind of look old again this step is definitely optional and the wax is really forgiving you can really rub it in really well with your towel or rag I'm just using an old towel and then once I have that all finished up here is how that is going to look once you've applied the wax if you do have that on hand if not don't worry about it so now I'm going to take the pieces of my cross and begin to place them on my board to make sure that they're going to fit correctly and also just to see how I need to space everything out before I glue everything down. So again, here are the two arms. Here's the center point. Here's the base of my cross. And then I did end up changing that to the top section um, because I felt like that that would look just a little bit better. And so I used this longer section for the base. But again, you guys can really play with this and see what fits on whatever board you have to use um, and just kind of play around with it to get the best fit fit for your project make this your own so and then I'm going to use some E6000 glue that's going to get my cross to hold on really well and I also used some hot glue so the hot glue will hold temporarily and the E6000 glue will be more of a 
permanent hold. You're not going to want to use a whole super ton of glue, but enough glue that you can get your project to kind of stay on. And I did end up having a little bit of problem with one of my arms. I had to re-glue it. So try not to get too frustrated if you have to do um, a bit of re-gluing. You can always add some dabs of paint over any messy points or add some pretty jewels or ribbons or even flowers would look really pretty on this as well. Again, I'm running that E6000 glue down some of the center point of my arm here and then I'm going to add some hot or some hot glue to really get it to hold really well. Once I was through attaching my little garden gate pieces, this is how my cross ended up looking. Now I'm going to go in with this large jewel. I get all of my jewels at totallydazzle.com. I will leave a link below for you, but they come in a 15 pack or 10 pack and they're super inexpensive. You guys like $1.50 each and they're absolutely gorgeous. So fun to craft with. So I'm going to use some E6000 glue and also some hot glue to go ahead and attach this beautiful jewel to the center of my cross and then I do want to go ahead and also share with you guys I decided to add an end piece to my cross and so I just trimmed off one of those little pointy pieces and I added one to the end of this part of my cross and then I also added it to the top of my cross just using a tiny bit of E6000 and hot glue and voila I was so excited for this project. I love having ideas in my head that are able to turn out really pretty darn good. I was just really excited because I had everything on hand number one but also it's just a symbol of hope for us all and so I would love to see your crosses hashtag me Olivia's romantic come show me your cross no matter what you make it out of it could be flowers it could be jewels it could be rulers popsicle sticks you could paint one I would just love to see what you all can come up with and then I also wanted to share a prayer with you Dear God, thank you for being the God who never sleeps. Thank you for always being here for me, even when I'm not always here for you. Thank you that you are love and that you want the very, very best for me. Thank you for your promises and that you never change. I'm feeling totally overwhelmed. Please help me. Help me to rest in the fact that you know what is best for me. Forgive me for turning away from you and trying to control the outcome in situations in my life. The Bible says that you are not the God of confusion, but of peace. Help me to rest in your love and to feel the peace which surpasses all understanding. Help me to feel your love and comfort. Help me to be still and know that you are God and that you will take care of me just like any loving parent takes care of their children. Your word says to cast all of our anxiety on you because you care for us. I turn all of my burdens and concerns over to you. Please guide my every step and help me to be attentive in your loving direction. Amen. I just wanted to share that with you all to give your heart some peace and comfort. I read it and I thought it would help you all. It was a prayer that was published by Women's Day and I will post it on my Facebook, Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook, if you guys want to go check that out. So 
So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we are going to take a piece of styrofoam that I have used many times. Little tip here, you can turn your styrofoam sideways and just reuse it, which is what I am doing for this project. I'm going to go ahead and place it in this Dollar Tree watering can. This was another DIY we did a little while back. I've taken apart some of my floral projects, so I'm going to reuse this lavender. The lavender originally was from Walmart, um, but just wait to go out and buy anything until it is time or I'm just really encouraging you guys to go ahead and use what you have so show me your watering can floral I'm adding this lamb's ear and then a little bit more lilacs I think this is kind of a cute little French farmhouse idea just to add some lilacs and some greenery and again I took this apart from another project which I'm going to do just so I can bring more DIYs um, to you all it's so therapeutic for me to do florals and I know a lot of you all have let me know that you're kind of learning some ideas about doing florals I am just a mom who likes to play with florals I've never had any real training so thank you for all of your comments it really makes my heart smile and this is how it ended up being I wanted it just to be really relaxed and kind of fun I put it next to this little fireplace that I have going and this is a faux fireplace so so, um, and then just this little thrift store chair that I had made over. It was actually free and I painted it and gave it some love. There's going to be a lot of painting going on around my home for the next couple of weeks, trying to get to all the projects that I've just been kind of pushing aside. Drop a comment below and let me know if you guys are working on some fun projects um, that you've been putting aside or maybe crafting projects that you didn't have time to finish and now you may have a little bit more time available. I know it's so therapeutic for me to craft and decorate. It just really makes my heart smile. And so for the next DIY, I want to share with you guys I had another garden gate that I had previously picked up from Dollar Tree I'm reusing this little silver Dollar Tree tin and then again reusing some of my floral foam um, I'm gonna hot glue it to the base of this little tin and then I'm gonna trim off parts of this little it's more of less of a garden gate and more of a trellis sorry about that for all of you gardeners I do know the difference but <laughs> um, I guess it could be a gate maybe to keep some little animals out of an area, but it's a trellis. So I'm going to trim the um, bottom piece off of the trellis because for the size of my tin, it seemed like it might be a little bit too large. If you were using this outside though and you had real dirt in it, you probably wouldn't have to trim these pieces off. But uh, for this video and this craft, I'm going to go ahead and trim them off and make it a little bit shorter. That way my faux um, creation that I'm going to share with you guys does not flop over. Um, just a little side note on that because I know some of you are gardeners and may be using this out in your garden. So it probably would be fine to use if you're going to be planting some real flowers, which I would love to see what kind of flowers you guys are planting. Post it in my Facebook group page. I love to see what y'all are up to. So now that I have it all trimmed off, I am just going to go ahead and pop it into the base of this little planter here. And it did stay up fairly well I was pretty happy with that um, I definitely wouldn't be putting it out in any wind though or outside it's a little bit delicate so just a side note on that now these are some Dollar Tree lemon branches that we created it's a pier one dupe and I'm just popping them in to this planter and I'm going to share with you guys the DIY on how to make these lemon branches but they're so beautiful out in the craft stores and they're a little bit pricey for me so I created these using some Dollar Tree supplies you guys know me and I just pop them in to the base of my little floral planter into the styrofoam and then I tied them on with some hot glue or not with some hot glue but with some wire and then I'm just taking um, just some it's real actual like dead leaves from outside and I just pop them into the base of my planter and then I'm also popping some moss on top of that I didn't want it to look like all dead leaves down there because the branches are green on this but use whatever moss you have or you could even use some burlap or just whatever goodies you have on hand but now I feel like I have a lemon branch tree in my home <laughs> 
I know lemons grow on branches, but this was just too cute to pass up. And it was so cheerful mixed in with this little be still and know that I am with you. Again, I did get all of these supplies at Dollar Tree, but wait to shop until we all get to go out back again and do all of our Dollar Tree shopping. So to refresh you on how to make this Dollar Tree lemon branch, there was the original Pier 1. I believe it was $30 or $40 for those several branches. I'm taking a Dollar Tree cotton stem, but you all could use pretty much any floral stem that you have on hand. And then I'm using some of these lemons. You can pop the lemon out of the end of your lemon branch to create this and just add a dab of hot glue to this. Um, you could also use flowers on your trellis if you don't have the lemons or you could use apples that make a little apple tree but just continue to hot glue your lemons onto the branch if you do happen to have some of these supplies on hand and just continue on with this as you move up your little lemon plant and they pop in there actually really good with just some hot glue and then of course I had to add some beautiful greenery these are just some Dollar Tree greenery they sold these last season at Dollar Tree I'm not for sure if they will have them again this year but I know a lot of you all may have some sort of greenery on hand. If you didn't have the little greenery here, you could just trim some greenery off of um, like maybe some other floral that you guys have that you're not using and then just hot glue those to the branches to kind of create this little faux lemon tree. Um, but it just always brings a smile to my face to use lemons. I'm definitely gonna be using a lot of lemons in my summer decor. I used a lot of them last year, so I'll just be reusing pretty much what I already had. Um, and I did add in even a little bit of extra greenery just to make it feel a little bit more real. Um, but yeah, so comment and let me know too if you guys decorate with lemons. I love to hear how you all are planning to decorate this summer. Um, and I also want to let you all know that you can drop a prayer request in the comment section below for me. That will give us all a chance to pray for each other. Um, and it will also help us feel a little bit less alone. I know um, when I know somebody's praying for me, it just makes me feel a little bit better. And now you can see me cutting up some fresh lemons. I'd like to do a simmering pot with lemons and basil. Just simmer that on the stove to make my home smell delicious. My daughter and I are going to bake a delicious a carrot cake. So we have the Betty Crocker carrot cake and then we have the cream trees frosting and then we have two sticks of butter, three eggs, and we have some cinnamon and some vanilla extract that we're going to use. So to begin baking your cake, just put in the whole box of cake mix and then one cup of just water. And now we're gonna start cracking three eggs. So this is one of the favorite recipes of our family. It's so easy. We love the Betty Crocker um, cake mix. Of course, this isn't super healthy, but we love to use a butter. We used a stick of butter and then- And then um, two more tablespoons, or three more tablespoons, yeah. And then we just melted these in the microwave. So we added in our butter and now we're gonna zhuzh it up just a little bit. We decided to add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then also a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. It didn't call for that, but I picked these up at the Deli Tree to make a simmering pot and I just thought that it would add some deliciousness to our cake. And now I'm going ahead and adding in our melted butter. We melted the butter in the microwave for about 35 seconds and then we're just using our hand mixer Although a lot of you guys said that we really need to get one of those really Mixing cute bowls. yeah, pink mixers um, to put on, you know, pink or aqua. I think those are so adorable those to have so on your counter when that'd be super fun. I would yeah. love that. Yeah. So now we're just mixing up our cake mix. It called to mix it for about two minutes, but we did it for about three. So it'd be mm -hmm. really fluffy. Yes. And then now we're just gonna scrape it all into the pan. And I did grease my pan, and usually I add some flour, but I was out of flour, so it did stick to the pan just a little bit, but hey, it tasted so delicious, I don't think anybody really noticed. 
So now that it's out of the oven, we're just going to go ahead and cut it and add some delicious icing. Icing. That is our favorite part. Oh my goodness. Yummy. Comment and let me know if you guys love carrot cake. If you're going to try this again, this is a family favorite. Thank you all so much for joining me in this Let's Stay Home series. Again, this is episode two, and I just want to thank you all for clicking on this video and giving me a reason to get ready for you all, hug your hearts, pray for you, drop a prayer in the comment section below. I really feel like this community can come together and pray for one another and be here for one another. Your kindness means so much to me. I know last night I just got on here and I was reading all your comments, and you guys encouraged me to keep going and that this series definitely meant a lot to you all so I'm gonna keep going with it I want to also encourage you all to craft with the items that you already have on hand please don't go out and buy a bunch of supplies for any of my projects that I'm sharing with you all I'm not buying any supplies either so we're gonna use what we have whether or not we have to take things apart and remake them redecorate we are gonna stay busy I'm a homebody, and so that's really not too hard for me. Um, I was raised on 100 acres, and so we didn't have a lot of TV going on in our home. We did have a TV, but the channels that we had were fuzzy, and so we just had like maybe one or two VHS tapes. So I had to get find ways to get creative, and maybe that's why I'm always come up coming up with so many different projects. I'm also saving my glass jars and plastic bottles and different things like that because I think we may want to do some fun trash to treasure projects. Um, and my kiddos are crafting at home, so I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of those little crafty decor projects. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys some pantry recipes, um, things that you can make out of your pantry. Um, I'm not a stellar cook by any means. I'm definitely more proficient with a glue gun, but I'll just share with you guys what I'm doing, and maybe that will encourage you guys and give you some ideas. And you guys can also share with me some of your favorite pantry recipes. Drop those in the comments below. Um, this is a community I know that can come together and be here for one another and pray for one another. And I just want to let y'all know how much I truly love you. And I thank you. You are such a blessing in my life. And I see you all be a blessing to one another. So thank you guys for that. It just means so much. So I love y'all and I want you to stay safe, stay at home, wash your hands, um, keep your homes tidy to the best of your ability and look forward to the future with hope. I think there is so much hope that we can have. Spring is here. Um, I know my flowers are blooming. I know some of you all still have snow and our weather is kind of like up and down. Sometimes it's really nice and sometimes it's not so nice. It's been raining for days on end here, uh, but every once, once in a while we do get some sunshine. So it's not totally gloomy here. Um, but I hope I can be your ray of sunshine. I know you guys are a ray of sunshine in my life and I thank you for that. I want to continue to pray for you all. I want to continue to lift you all up. I'm going to continue to bring you these videos with crafts um, that I'm doing or that I have done or, you know, recipes and whatnot. So 
I just want to thank you all for being here. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. I love you so much. Remember, take care of yourselves and take care of one another. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye. I've come out here to say